guys will be for them. We'll go Johnny Northcroft, Simon Mullock, and Joe Bernstein in that order. Johnny, first of all. Hi, Jürgen. Hi. Hi. Um, a positive way to look at um, the absence of Mo and Sadio, I suppose, is it's Thank an opportunity. You. <laughs> it's an opportunity. Well, it's an opportunity for other players, isn't it? I mean, that's that's how you'd want your squad to look at it. Um, and I just wondered if you were, you know, you mentioned Curtis's performance when he came on. It seemed as much as what he did in the game was also the personality he showed. He looked like someone that wanted to take his his chance. I mean, is that what you're looking for from players? And on Curtis, I mean, it looks like he can play in so many different ways. But where do you see him best used? First of all, I had a long talk last week with Curtis um, uh, because it's not that I'm now I, I, I love the boy, I love the, the potential he has, but we have to come now there that we, we really make the next steps and um, uh, that he fulfills the potential he has on the pitch um, very often. And um, so that was, and you have these kind of conversations when you when you are not 100% happy with the with the moment. So it's it is young, very young, um, but how I see. His potential is <laughs> incredible. So, and as we, we both together have to find a way to show that much more often. And um, so we are we are there really in in this in this um, development. Let me say like this: Yes, he can play different positions in different ways. Last night we brought him, and we wanted just from him um, really to dribble, to be to be there in these tight areas to to change just the what is that. The way they had to defend us because we 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 passed the ball um, out to, to to Robo and then he could cross or not and if not then we passed the ball back and cross from there so we needed a different dynamic uh, and dimension in the game and that's why we brought him in exactly in that way but he cannot only play that he can of course play an eight as well he did already really, really, very well for us so that's it it's an ongoing process with Curtis and me um, but I know he had now a, a tricky time with the eye long out um, and then with the um after that with covid so it's not helpful but now we we try to make sure that he gets rhythm and um, can show how good he can actually be thank you john goes to simon and joe simon hi jürgen um hi. can i ask you in in when when uh, liverpool won the, the title in um the summer of 2020 um you appealed to liverpool fans to celebrate in the right way um, to respect the regulations. What, what was your thoughts this week when you heard that at that time the government were, were throwing parties when you were telling your supporters to make sure that they behaved in, in the correct manner? Oh, nice. You want to involve me now in this discussion? So that's, that's um, actually not my cup of tea. I, I, I think my opinion about um, Mr Johnson is, is pretty clear. It's not important. My God, absolutely not important, but it's pretty clear. But it's not my cup of tea to to talk about these kind of things. Um, I know people think I talk about everything, but not about that. Um, yeah, so. no, no, I understand. I understand. Thank you. Welcome. Okay, Simon. Then we'll finish with uh, we'll finish with Joe Bernstein. Um, Jürgen, you've spoken to us many times about Robert Firmino and 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 how how you love him as a player, as a team player, as an unselfish player. In the current situation where you haven't got your other two star forwards, do you do you want him to adapt at all? Do you want him to become a bit more of an assassin? Or is it a case of just carry on playing exactly how you've always is played? I just wondered if you, you needed him to maybe be ruthless and think about being selfish a little bit more just because of the Mo and, and Sadio aren't there. No, but we had this enough to change it. So maybe, maybe look, I, I, it's a bit of a shame that I have to remind you, but um, we played uh, one of the biggest games of our history here. We played without Bobby and, and Mo. We played, um, we won at Crystal Palace. I actually forgot the result, but pretty high. And Mo didn't play, didn't start the game. We won against um, Manchester United and Sadio didn't start the game. So now both are out. That's not cool. But it's not that we now have to. You have to be like him and you have to be like him. It's about playing football, about finding solution, about getting through. And Bobby, when he's in a situation he wants to score, it's about when they have any has two players who, who offer runs in behind um, and he can keep the ball and pass the ball. That, that makes completely sense. But, but Bobby is a very smart player. So it's about using your teammates 
points in the way you can use them. And it's not that we can score only goals from this situation or this situation. For example, last night, obviously, our set piece were awful. They looked in training outstanding. And on a match day, they look the other way around. This is a part of the game, how you can score a game, how you can open up a game, how you can give a game a direction, these kind of things. There are so many things we you can do in a football game. They don't depend on who is playing. It's always about how you are playing. And yesterday we didn't play good enough from a specific point on um, point of time on in the game. Um, and it was in around the red card. Let me say like this, maybe not directly, but then minute by minute by minute, it got a bit like that. In the end, we found our feet again and then we were really um, we were really uh, aggressive in the right manner and, and dominant in the right manner and all this kind of thing. It could have happened, didn't happen. I mean, obviously, one really big chance, how is that? Not enough chances, but we had them. And we win the game then 1 0, and everything is not great, but it's fine. We win the game 1 0, and people will tell us, yeah, but that's not enough against 10 men, all these kind of things. Now we have another tie, another game at, at Arsenal in six days now. So, in between is the Brentford game. Honestly, this is our main focus tonight. Didn't speak a lot about that today, but it's still our main focus. Um, but then, it's half time. It's nil nil. Arsenal didn't win it yet the second time. So we have to find solutions in these moments, not constantly talking about the problems. We have we have to find solutions. What we always do, what we always do in between the games, find solutions for the next game, dependent on the people, the players you have available, but independent of the public perception. That's oh, you have to do this or you have to do that. Just focus on the things we can be influential, and that's what we do. Um, and nobody has to change for that. Everybody has to step up. Of course, we play, I don't know how many goals they scored together, 20 odd something. Um, but, and so everybody is absolutely invited to, 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 to score a goal. But it's not about winning 6 7 nil. It's about winning a football game. And one goal can be enough for that. And that's how I said, we have to go through this period, clear, and make the best of it. And that's what we try. Thank you, everybody. Stay safe. We'll speak to you. Thank you. Bye-bye.